think that's about right. Or one, yeah, no, it's 130. That's right. OK, so the kind of cosine inverse of 1 half. Now, again, what we're doing is we're looking for this answer. Right? Now, I don't want to introduce an equation, but I think introducing the equation helps like, understand, again, what we're looking for. If I was just to rewrite this with the regular cosine function, remember, guys, this is the cosine of what is equal to 1 half. Now, we know we only take the cosine of, sine of, tangent of, angles. right? So we're looking for an angle. So we're, the cosine of what angle is equal to 1 half? Right? That's basically what we're asking ourselves. But remember, this is the cosine inverse. It's the inverse function. So we just can't pick any angle, right? Because when we look at what angles satisfy this equation, we see that there are, there are four of them, right? And if we plug this into our calculator, our calculator is not going to give us four, four answers. There's four of them. Because we know the unit circle, we know that it's going to be at reference angle pi over 3. 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Yes? And therefore, all of them down here. So this would be the second quadrant. So that's, this is the negative 1 half. Um, so we don't need to include that. Actually, there's only two answers, right? Not four. Um, but there's two answers where the cosine is equal to 1 half. And then this one is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So the only two angles right now, based on the unit circle, that satisfy this restriction is going to be um, The, what, so we have pi over 3. So we could say the answer is pi over 3. And then this other angle is, what would this one be? Pi over 3, that would be, I might say 5. Well, this is 3 pi over 3. This is 6 pi over 3. So if it's pi over 3 short of 6 pi over 3, then it has to be 5 pi, 5 pi over 3. 3. But again, guys, this is an inverse function. You plug that into your calculator. Your calculator is not going to spit out two answers, right? We have to understand that the, um, cosine, the inverse function has a restricted range, right? Or the cosine function is restricted to only give us one answer. And as we remember, we look at that restrictions. Mr. McLogan? Yes? Could you please send Madeline Krawcheck to the front office to check out, please? Thank you. OK. So what we see here is that the only answer, if we look at our restrictions, the only answer has to be between 0 and 2 pi. So what is the only angle that fits within that restriction? Pi over 3. And guess what? Plug it into your calculator. Cosine inverse of 1 half is pi over 3. Yes? 